In this video, we look at binomial distribution, which is part of the AI course under topic four, statistics and probability under the subtopic of distributions. Now in the AI SL course, we'll encounter three types of distributions. We have probability distribution, binomial distribution, and normal distribution. And then for the HL course, in addition to those three, we'll also encounter Poisson's distribution. But in this video, we are looking at binomial distribution. Now notice that the word binomial, at the start, we have the prefix bi, B-I. Think of a bicycle having two wheels, bi meaning two. So for a binomial distribution question, we're looking out for questions whereby there's only two outcomes. And we consider those to be the successful outcomes and the failure outcomes. And the other characteristics of a binomial distribution question is that we have a number of trials. So the question might say, a coin is flipped 30 times. So we have 30 trials and our success is heads and our failure is tails, as an example. So they're the key characteristics to look out for. Number of trials and then just two outcomes. Okay, let's now look at this example on the right-hand side. And as we go through these, we'll cover the second and third key concepts. So on this example here, I have a bag of balls. I have three red balls and two blue balls. So we have a total of five balls here. I am told that I select a ball at random and then replace. And I do this 20 times. So you see here, okay, this is interesting. 20 times, I have 20 trials. So I'm gonna define this here. My N, my number of trials is 20. And looking ahead at my questions here, I'm looking at um, red outcomes. So I'm going to find my probability of success. So my probability for red will equal, now I have three red balls out of five. So I'm going to have my probability of success here as three on five. And I don't need to define my probability of failure. It's not, it's not super important, but let's just talk about it briefly. The probability of failure will always be one subtractor probability of success because there's only two outcomes here. So for this example here, I could either look at the bag and say, well, the probability of failure is gonna be two on five if my failure metric is red, or I could have thought, well, one subtract three on five will give me my probability of failure. Either way will work. But the important point to define is number of trials and probability of success. Okay, let's, let's now work through two examples here and you'll see the difference between the two example questions and then when we need to use a binomial PDF command on our calculator and when we need to use a binomial CDF command on our calculator. Okay, part A asked, find the probability of exactly 12 reds occurring. So this is 12 out of the 20. Well, 12 reds, that could occur quite a few different ways. The first 12 selections could be red and then the remaining eight could be blue. Maybe the first eight are blue and the last remaining 12 are red. Maybe the first is red, the next eight are blue, and then the next 11 are red. You can see here, wow, okay, this can happen a lot of different ways. And the formula to find this is, is quite difficult and it's out of the scope of the AI course. So we can use our calculator to do the hard work here, but we just need to know how to enter this into our calculator. Now, in order to find the probability of an exact number of successful trials, because consider here we're defining our success being red, we'll use what's called the binomial PDF command on our calculator. So that's for a specific number of successful trials. And in our case here, our specific number is 12 out of the 20. Now to find the binomial PDF command, we go menu, number five, probability, Number five, distributions. We are in the subtopic of distributions after all. And if you go down here towards the bottom of the screen, you'll see there's two options here, binomial PDF and binomial CDF. They're the two commands that you'll need to use for binomial distribution questions. Binomial PDF is for a specific number of successful trials. So let's go ahead and choose that one. Now the number of trials, there are 20 bag selections. So I'm gonna choose 20. Our probability of success is three on five. You can enter that as a, as a division. And the X value is, well, how many reds are we interested in finding out? Or how many successful trials? And that is 12. We hit OK. And that right there is our probability, 0 0.179. Um, rounded to three, sig the three significant figures, that'll actually be 0 0.18. So the, the way that we write this is the probability 
of red, uh, random variable red, so the number red being our successful outcome, equaling 12 exactly, is equal to 0 0.18, or 18%. Okay, let's now look at the other type of binomial distribution question that you'll encounter. It's part B here. Find the probability of 12 or more reds. So out of the 20 selections, we're looking at the probability of 12 or more. So maybe drawing 12, maybe 13, maybe 14, all the way up to a maximum of 20. So now we have, look at over here, a range of successful trials. Not a specific number, this is actually a range. So the way that we would write this is actually the probability of red being greater or equal to 12, all the way up to 20. Now, in order to find a range of successful trials, we use the binomial CDF command. The C stands for cumulative, so a range. Let's go ahead and find that. We go menu, probability, distributions, and we choose binomial CDF. Our number of trials, again, is still 20. Our probability of success is still three on five. But this time now we need to enter a lower bound and an upper bound. So in our range between 12 and 20, our lower bound is going to be 12 and our upper bound is going to be the maximum number, 20. We hit OK and there is our probability, 0. Point, oh, this is another, another tricky three significant figures. This will be, uh, this rounds up, so it'll be 0. 0.6. Oh, no, sorry, three significant figures, my mistake. 0 0.596, 596. Okay, that covers a quick overview of a binomial distribution. I recommend going over to the question bank section and trying some of these questions.